So far, your programs only work with the data that is directly provided within the code, within lists, dictionaries, and so on. Welcome. I'm Kauns and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Python input function to capture and use the input of a user using your program. And we're going to build a simple calculator in Python. As a first example, we're just going to call the input function and then print out what the user has entered on the command line. So first we enter a variable s that will store the data coming from the input function. Then we use input and then we can enter a prompt. And the prompt is text that is displayed in front of the data that the user can then enter. So we enter here as a string, please enter your text and we store that. And then we want to print the data that we just entered in this input function. And if we run that and we can see down here in the terminal, we can see, please enter your text and we can enter hello and that will then be printed on the command line. So the input function returns a string that the user has entered on the terminal. And after the enter is pressed, this string is then stored in the variable in front of the input function. And we can then use the string to print it out or do something else with it. We can now use the Python input function to build an interactive menu for our Python program. And the first thing we are going to do is to enter a infinite while loop. And in the each iteration of that while loop, we're going to get a command from the user. So we enter command equals input. Please enter a command and then we can use this the data that is stored in command to do certain things and at the beginning we have two commands which is h which prints a help that prints out all the available command and x which will end the program because as we have an infinite while loop we always need a way to break that loop and don't run the program until infinity so we first check if command equals h which is the command for help and then we print out the help help and all the commands our program provides which is h prints this help menu and the second command is x exits this program then we have another else if condition if command equals x we're going to use break to end the program and then after a while we're going to print good bye so every time we enter x the program will end and we print goodbye after the while loop and last but not least we need to tell the user if they entered something wrong so after our else elif, we enter an else and here we print command not recognize. So if we run that program now, we can enter command. We first can enter the help and we can see in the help h prints help menu and we can see x exits that program. But if we enter something that is not specified in our menu, like z, it says z not recognized. And if we enter X, we can see goodbye and our program ends. When you're new to Python, it is sometimes hard to remember all the functions and new concepts. And therefore I created several Python cheat sheets you can pick up for free as a high resolution PNG in my Gumroad shop. And if you want to print out those cheat sheets, you can even get a printable PDF version for a small amount of money in my Gumroad shop or as a tier one or higher Patreon subscriber. So make sure to get your Python cheat sheets and check out the links down below in the description. And as promised in the beginning of the video, we're going to build a small calculator with the Python input function. So first we have to add a new command. And for that, we start off in the help menu, print, and then we enter the plus, which will add two numbers together. Adds two numbers and then we enter a new command here with elif command equals plus. And then let's check if that actually works. 
we let the program run, we enter plus, it says plus, and then we can leave the program once again. Now we need input values for our plus. So for that, we're going to use another input statement. First, a input, enter first number, and then b input, enter second number. And when we run that, we can see plus, we enter the first number, 12, we enter the second number, 5, nothing happens, so we have to add plus to that. So as a result, we enter a plus b equals a plus b. So let's run our program and check the result. We enter as a command plus 42 plus 23 and we see the result is kind of weird because 42 plus 23 is not 4223. So what has happened here? As our input function returns a string, a and b are concatenated together. Concatenation means that two strings are added together to, one, to form one string. And this is exactly what has happened here. As a and b are not numbers, integers or floats, they are, they are strings and therefore the result is wrong in terms of integers. But we can fix that by turning the strings that are coming from the input function into integers. So, and for that we are going to check if our string actually contains a number. And we are using the Python built-in function is digit for strings. So after our input a, we enter if a is digit, and if that is true, a will be casted into a string with the int function. If that is not the case, we're going to print error, and then comma a is not a number, and we don't want to crash the program, so we're just going to use continue to start over with a new iteration through our menu. And we're going to do the same with b. So after b we enter if b is digit, we enter b int b, and if that is not the case, else, and we can just copy from up here, don't miss the colon, paste, change that, and now we should get the correct result of an integer addition. So let's save, save it and run that program. We use command plus and the first number is 42 and the second number is 23 and we can see it's 65 and that is actually correct. We can also check if it fails if we enter a non-number string, we enter plus and we enter this and it tells us ASDF is not a number and we're back in the main menu. So if we enter plus and then 42 for the first number and then, and then some gibberish for the second number, we can see SDF is not a number and we're back at the main menu, plus 3 plus 4, that is 7 and everything works out perfectly. I hope this video was helpful for you and you can now use the Python input function to build interactive menus into your Python programs. If you've got any questions regarding this video, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to pick up your Python cheat sheets in my Gumroad shop or on my Patreon, with a big shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss when I release a new video on Python, programming and computer science. I wish you a fantastic day and hope to see you soon. Bye bye!